Hi, good day. Today we are going to have a look at an interesting feature in AD Manager Plus, and that is automation. Given the fact that Active Directory is a complex environment, it is very obvious that everyday Active Directory routines like user provisioning, deprovisioning, and AD cleanups will take a lot of energy, time, and also demand a lot of expertise. It is possible to automate such routines using AD Manager Plus. Now, we shall take a simple scenario and see how automation comes into play. Let us take the example of a university or college. At the beginning of every academic year, the university has to create user accounts for all the newly admitted students and late delete their accounts after they graduate. The action plan for the user management cycle will be in the month of January, the students join, so I create accounts. And in the month of October, the students graduate, I disable accounts. And in the month of December, I delete them. Now, let us see how to achieve this with AD Manager Plus. CSV files. First, create a CSV file with the names of all the newly admitted students. To create users, any of the following naming attributes is mandatory and enough. Given name, CN, name or SAM account name. Let me show you a sample CSV file that I had already created. As you can see in the CSV file, I have the header a SAM account name which is an LDAP format below which I have the values. Values here implies to the student accounts I wish to create. So now I save this file. Now that I have successfully created a CSV file with a list of user accounts that I want, the next step would be to create templates. Templates standardize the process of creating users in bulk and help save time. We will now create a template to use in the user creation process. Let us see an example. I log into AD Manager Plus. I click on AD Management and then I go to user creation templates. You will find create new template on the top right corner. Click on that to create a new template. Templates allow you to choose from naming formats that will apply to users created. It also allows to fix the values of some fields. For example, say you want the users to be created under a department called education and training. How do you do that? Simple. Just click on contact details. Under the drop down box named department, I select the option education and training. And you can also fix the same password for all users and make sure that they change it during the next logon. Click on the account details tab select type a password and I type a standard password that meets my domain password policy complexity and I confirm it and I'll have to make sure that user must change password at next logon checkbox is checked I click on save template now my template is saved now that we have successfully created a CSV file and a template, our next step is to configure the automation. All you have to do is simply schedule the automation. The automation will run at desired intervals and perform the required action, which in our case is going to be creating student accounts, disabling them and deleting them. Click on the automation tab and in the left hand side of the window, you would have two links, automation and automation policy. The automation link is where you configure or schedule the automation. This is where you define where to fetch data from, what time the automation should be run, the frequency of runs and so on. The automation policy link is where you order the sequence of tasks to be performed. You can define an instant task and also define the follow-up tasks that should eventually be triggered. Okay. Now let's configure our automation policy. First, 
I click on automation policy and then I go to create new automation policy I give a name to my automation policy and I add a description which is optional in our case it is going to be user creation so I select user automation for the automation category and I select the right domain for which the automation policy is created my first task would be to create student accounts and that is going to be the first task in the series so I click on create users as soon as I do that you would have another option for choosing the template as you can see in the drop down box you would have the template which we created earlier which is template user 1 and how would I add another task for disabling users simple I click on add successive task and user should be disabled 10 months after they are created which is approximately 305 days and the task is going to be disabling them and I add another task which is going to delete users 61 days after they are disabled and the task is delete users now that I have successfully created an automation policy I click on save and I save my automation policy as you can see we have automation policy ready now we have successfully created an automation policy so our next step would be to configure the automation I click on the automation link and I click on create new automation I give my automation a name and I add a small description which is optional and then I select the automation category which in our case is going to be user automation and I select the right domain now we come to the important part I select the automation policy which I've already created I click on select automation policy our automation policy is going to be test 1 2 3 which we had created previously now I specify the location of my CSV file which I've already created and that contains the list of student accounts to be created in my active directory after specifying the location of the CSV file I now define the execution time and this would specify the time interval at which the task should be run I can have it run on a daily basis weekly basis monthly basis or on an hourly basis after defining the time interval I can click on save and run this would create an automation based on the time interval specified in my automation policy successive task would take place and that is going to be disabling users after 305 days of creation and deleting them after 61 days of being in the disabled state so now the whole user account management cycle is automated your job is made simple for more information please visit admanagerplus.com thank you